Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and in this video we'll be showing all the secret tapes and endings of Amanda the Adventurer. And then after all that we'll go over some plot points and some story things I feel like that should be pointed out. Quick note that if you want to see an actual playthrough of Amanda the Adventurer, check down in the description and the pinned comment for a link to the actual video. So in my previous video I said I was able to get all endings in one video, because there was an art embargo on endings if you had a review copy. But with part of that I did get an agreement that if someone posted all the endings, or a bunch of people did anyways, that I would have free reign to just go ahead and post them up, which has officially happened. Although, it's technically it happened because people Where's just the ripped the uh, ending video Where's files out of the game. <sighs> well, Come on, Lauren, we have a special surprise for you. Lauren. <sighs> Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. Then we need to talk about some new TV rules. <sighs> You know what, hold on. Let me try. I, I, wanna, I wanna capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey, we got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby, we can watch Amanda another time. It's so much fun. She's gone. Everything okay? Lauren? Mm, Lauren? I love mint chocolate chip. The first thing I kind of want to check out is the flower thing. So we discovered the there was a thing with the flowers. Huh. Thank you, but that's not my favorite flower. It's this one, yellow. Right. Thank you. That's my favorite flower. I got a surprise for you. Ooh, what is it? Have to turn around. Please don't stab me. Oh, thanks. Let's try this tape. Spooky. Oh, huh, 2002. More recent than the Amanda universe. Amanda? Was that the uh, symbol of the, the company? The, the mouse? Yeah, I'm not I'm not hearing anything. We just have to watch the body language. Writing something. Do I do not see anything? Yeah, it's the mouse symbol, right? We know there's more. He went to a room. Real curious tape you got there. Good job. Let's Yeah, see the notes.
Red tape. Okay, I'm gonna play this one here. We got from the piano. It's been three weeks since local television producer this was the creator. Sam Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among areas. They said children. the VA was like Amanda Colton. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. Oh. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. Damn. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo. The oh man, I devil. love Zappo. It's me, your friend, oh, God. Chip. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog. It's Chip. Chip. From Chip's Tips. Damn, I'm getting the Chip's Tips sequel now. That's a hell of a cameo I didn't see coming. Sam is the creator. And the father of the VA. Wait, what did you say? Sam. How do you... Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Because the whole thing about Amanda is something about, like, family. I don't know who my family is. Da -da 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 -da. Is this the animation studio? Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Pie, man. Pie, man. Pie, man. Pie, man. Pie, man. Pie. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Who's recording? Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of these. No, I don't want like to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. There's no man. She's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out, and we'll... Who's recording? The man in the headphones? Huh. That's right! Willie hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Nobody. You're probably right. Damn. Let's take Willie to the hospital to see a doctor. Purple tape. Stuffing. 
There we go, coffee break. Welcome to Coffee Break. Today I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I'm going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. Some damn good cookies. Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. Kate! I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something. So that's her aunt. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations, but really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my That's life. That's a pretty big hit, because you adopted so it in the first place. Share that light with our community. And then you lose your new dad? It really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. So she keeps always mentioning family. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. But then what happened to Sam in the end? Huh. Curious. So I'm going to start showing the endings here. Some of this footage is taken from my playthrough, just with the commentary stripped out. And after all these endings are done, we're going to show the sixth and final videotape. Not a man. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. Why won't you answer my question? See? Everything is fine here. It's all fine.
I was afraid of. Why won't you answer my question? You have to tell me. Tell me! <laughs> Don't you want to be my friend? Please, answer my question. I think it might be too late. When an animal dies, it rots too. It looks like this kitten is in big trouble. It might die before anyone can help it. Should we help the kitten? <laughs> Hi! I'm... Amanda. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? Yum, that's my favorite. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? Oh. I thought you were different. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? Are you sure? It's a Big secret. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? I'm out there. Somewhere. <laughs>
Are you sure? It's a big secret. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? I'm out there. Somewhere. <laughs> What? Wait. Who was that at the end? So, this is a little bit post added commentary here. Uh, after the credits are over, I have the final Secret Six tape, the blue tape, and the reason I've stuck that after the endings is because it is 11 minutes long, and it may be boring or not, depending on your perspective. I'm just giving you a fair warning, and after that 11 minutes is over, I'll do my kind of story explains stuff, because there's things you may or may not have missed.
So that gave us the detective head ending? Herd of mouth of Wooly the Sheep. I feel like that's reference to, uh, maybe they said they had, Wooly was gonna have like a read along or something weird that got cancelled. Wooly. How do you do? Hey, Wooly is just there. I think this video is going to be very long. Get comfortable. <coughs> you okay? He's, uh, still there. Just doing woolly stuff. Let's have pause it. I'm still here, by the way. Still watching Wooly. Don't think I've left yet. You think I just walk away? Nope, I'm committed. He's doing something. He yawned. Big yawn. What are you doing? Okay. Yep.
I feel like Wooly can't carry a show by himself. Yeah, that, that's about the the league of Wooly's charisma right there. It's a cough. Amanda was right. Hashtag Amanda was right. <laughs> Wait, he's looking. He's looking around. Yep. Welcome to the Wooly ASMR show. It's all Wooly. All 24-7. <laughs> Wooly Coffin, yep. Yeah. Some riveting entertainment. Wooly scratching his butt. Or his wool. Wooly looking around. What's Wooly got to do, got to do with it? No, seriously, what does Wooly have to do with it? Wooly is key to the story, like, unironically. Yawn again. Does this video go on forever? Coffin again. And he's scratching.
Willie uh, is not very charismatic without anyone to play off of. So that's it for Abandon of the Adventurer. As I said earlier, if you want to see an actual playthrough of this whole game, check out the links down below. But I'm going to go over how I feel about the game and I'm going to go over about the storyline a little bit. So going over a timeline, we have the Amanda the Adventurer public access show, created by Sam, who adopts a daughter named Rebecca. The public access show is live action, it's not a cartoon or anything. So I'm assuming this was something a little more closer to like, Gullah Gullah Island or one of those shows. Where it's just kind of very family focused and it's not a big production. There is a link to Kate, the main character Riley's aunt, who is the librarian who used to promote the public action show and I believe the cartoon. And they were friends with Sam. Now, at some point, a company approaches Sam. They say, hey, we like the Amanda Adventure show. We want to make a show out of it. And it's not just any kind of show. They want to make it into a 3D CG animated cartoon. Still starring Rebecca. At some point, there's disagreements. Sam goes missing. Rebecca is left alone with the show and I'm assuming some kind of institution or place. And sometime in that time frame after that, the show runs into controversy. People start saying it's telling them weird messages and stuff. And then there's a big time gap, then we go to the... the present, where we have inherited this house, the tapes, and all this information. And we find out that our aunt has been investigating the show, and I'm assuming some paranormal stuff in general. And they are trying to investigate the company, and what happened to Rebecca and Sam. Now, along the way, there is something interesting in the one secret tape where it looks like they were trying to train, almost train an AI or something to mimic Rebecca's voice at some point. So you can argue that in some ways, Rebecca has been immortalized by this. And during that videotape, we get introduced to a couple of interesting concepts. We have someone who was videotaping them in the first place who runs away. And then we have the, the man in the headset, which may not necessarily mean anything, it could just mean there's a director or producer off screen telling uh, Rebecca what to say, or it could be something a little more. The other thing I feel like that is important is that Wooly is a curious character, because over the course of the game, at least normally anyway, you never find out who Wooly quite is, and I think there's actually a cipher or something in the game that mentions who is Wooly. When the credits for the show appear, Wooly specifically is one of the only ones that is cut off. The, the tape goes static. So there is a possibility that Wooly has some more connection to the events that occurred or something more to the show. Um, and we also see that the aunt is talking to other people because people have gone missing from watching these VHS tapes. We see that in the first secret tape. And someone's been talking to the aunt to try to figure out this whole mystery of what happened to their, uh, to their family member. Now, the reason they go missing is because, of course, Amanda does eventually come and abduct them or eat them or does whatever she does. Basically, something bad happens to them. There is a loose possibility they become woolies, but I, I don't I don't quite really lean into that theory. But the reason Amanda captures these children and people who watch the VHS tape is because of the spirit of Rebecca or the whatever is inhabiting the tapes because Rebecca is, once again, an adopted child. And so they already possibility, there's a possibility they do already have some abandonment issues or other psychological things going on. And then their adopted father goes as missing also on top of that. So a strong theme throughout the Amanda the Adventure VHS tapes is loneliness, family, friendship. Uh, and this is primarily represented with a cat. Rebecca is the cat. The, the cat is shown being trapped in a cage. Amanda says, like, we get to help the cat. If you deny that, you actually get attacked right off the bat. You actually get a, uh, a failed ending. There is another animal that appears, and that is the fox. And I, I'd actually debate of the fox representation of uh, her dad. Because there is a murder mystery aspect to the fox section. And you, you, there's two items there. There is a knife, a gun, and a berry bush. And you're, you would think you would click the berry bush, but when the berry bush is open, it's revealed to be a bear trap. So that could be a loose connection showing that the father died. Maybe he was entrapped or something. I don't think literally a bear trap, but basically he was lured and possibly killed in the woods. Maybe he could have been a bear trap, who knows. And of course the father was killed because he was going to basically cancel the show. So now Amanda slash Rebecca, the VHS tape demon, who is represented with mice because... The mice is a symbol of the company. 
And it's also because her silhouette probably vaguely looks like Mickey Mouse, so it's like a little bit of a cheeky joke. She's now searching for friends or family members. And she actually even brings up Kate, your aunt, at some point about sending her a letter because she's already taken away Kate. Now there is another curious thing and it is at the end of the true ending once you get all these secret videotapes. And that is a figure appears at the end wearing a fedora and a trench coat. It looks kind of vaguely at Carmen San Diego. If you actually pull them all up in game, it literally is just titled Mysterious Figure and it has no details on the actual body. It is just designed to be like a human silhouette in the distance. You're not able to make out if it's a woman, man, whatever. Even monster, theoretically, although I think it's a human being. And the achievement tied to that even says a new friend question mark. So that could be the person that was possibly in contact with Kate. Um, and they have linked up with you to... Because in, in a way, once you found these secret video tapes, you are a detective in your own way. So I feel like that's a bit of like a nod to that. You're now kind of in the mix of this paranormal thing. Because as Amanda herself says, she's out there. Like, just you destroying this TV did not stop anything. So that does actually mean they did leave themselves room for a sequel, whether they make one or not. I'm assuming it's going to be based on the response of this game. But the Amanda the Adventurer saga, it's probably not over. If the sales are good, it's probably not over. Now here's another thing about the dad going missing. And here's another reason he's basically buried in the woods somewhere is if you go by the original Man of the Adventure game, so the little short ones, I believe those are still maybe loosely canon. In the secrets for those tapes, and in some of the other tapes in general, there was one tape where you went out to the woods and you found a basically what was a buried corpse mound. Like it was just a thing of dirt and it was like, pick which one? And then you had to like use a shovel on them. You didn't see actually see a body or anything. That's where the tape cuts off because Willie interrupts. There was also another secret in the old game that basically showed a Google Maps kind of satellite view of a, some wooded area with a red circle on that map. Now this could be the dad, it could even be Rebecca. Maybe Rebecca was murdered and put out here too. And in one of those updates, there was you start in a room, there was a lot of writing on the walls, implying basically just like Amanda, the tapes have been taking people for a little while now. So the story, is to sum it all up the story is essentially the ring it is unironically the ring like i kid you not put it all together in your head after everything i've told you it's all in the numbers number one that's terror i mean um it is the ring amanda slash rebecca is sadako or I, I forget what she was called in the western version i think even rebecca might even have psychic powers there might be some loose implications of that because um, if you look at the credits, one of the characters from the secret tapes was labeled scientist, not doctor, scientist. So yeah, it, it's essentially the ring. We have not fully solved it. We've just destroyed a tape. It's not as bad as the ring where you're basically doomed. But hey, looking forward to uh, Amanda 2, apparently. Amanda the Globetrotter. Now that will be the sequel. Okay, I'll find the Amanda tapes all over the world. Now, before I finish my story commentary, I'm going to kind of go into a whole other can of worms, story-wise. This kind of deserves its own section. Now, it's the dark secret of Amanda the Adventurer kind of thing. And that would be that everything is supernatural, that the organization that's publishing this show is evil, that they're trying to summon a demon of some kind, uh, and that one tape where Rebecca is talking she is, depending on how you interpret it, she's actually saying an actual demon's name, Ba-Lam or whatever. And the symbol and the overall name of the company is essentially like the Pied Piper, like leading the mice. And if you know the story, the story is it leads away the mice and it's like not paid. So the Piper comes back, leads away the children, which is very similar to what these tapes do. And remember, they mentioned that the show starts saying weird things like, your parents aren't always right. Don't only listen to adults. And I think it's a parody of how people like say like, oh, there's satanic messages in children's cartoons. In this case, it's like literal. So when the dad figures out what's up, they killed him. Something happened to Rebecca. Like I said, she ever got put in a tape or killed or something happened to her. And Rebecca herself may have had powers. We don't know. I mentioned that earlier. I still think Wooly is possibly a key character. Like I said, I don't know if Wooly is someone that was previous victims, or 
if you had to think of like how a show is scripted, you would think if a father is making a, a show of his daughter, he may play the mascot character, which is Wooly. Hence why maybe Wooly's the angel on the shoulder. Also, going back to the fox thing, rewatch my footage and play through the fox stuff. You'll notice that Amanda kind of mentions things about like the fox didn't like know what hit him and stuff like that. Which is why I say like the fox might be representative of like the dad being killed or assassinated. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's sequel bait. But yeah, that sums up the story uh, about how I feel about the game. I think Amanda the Adventure is actually, it's actually a complete product. And, you know, it's kind of rare. A lot of times these type of games, especially when they came from like a game jam or something, they're about like a 50-50 batting record. Sometimes they're just completely flops after they try to go to like a commercial product. Like all the fun was in the demo per se. Very common. And sometimes you have really great things, right? Like, I remember Inscription, there was the game concept, original thing, so it was just like a game jam thing, and then there was like, the demo demo, because when it was gonna go commercial, and then there was like the full product. Granted, half of Inscription wasn't as good as the beginning, but it was still a decent game. So, I'm amazed they were able to stretch a meta the adventure to a full length, two hour plus game. Obviously with editing, I was able to condense the game down to like an hour and a half or so. But if you were actually to play it and like solve puzzles and stuff, you, it would take you considerably longer. I, I have basically three hours on the clock. And I've watched some of my YouTuber friends. I've watched their hour and I took a look and they were fairly similar, around three to four hours on the clock. So the move to moving around in natural space, not just being locked into a tape was a good choice. They embraced the campiness of it, which is also a good choice. I, you don't want to go like too realistic edgy. There was a little bit here and there. And they didn't necessarily go, like, too dark yet, anyway. They embraced the fun part. So, yeah, there is predictable, like, oh, yeah, Amanda's just gonna get angry and stuff when you say the bad thing. But it's kind of fun. It's, it's fun to see what happens. So, I think it's a fun, successful product. It didn't go too hard into the deepest lore. It was a little bit there, as I pointed out. But, like, it's not real heavy. Which, is, I think, is never trap. Where all your game requires a YouTuber to explain it to you or something. I feel like that's a game design critical flaw you should be able to pick up a game and enjoy it but yeah anyway so thank you all for watching play amanda the adventurer i'll see you guys later and take it easy